The first step of the treatment process is to pump river water into large raw water basins that contain enough water to supply the plant for one day. The basins provide the time needed to settle out heavier particles such as sand and silt. It also allows the water department to control the amount of water entering the plant for treatment and to keep the flow consistent. The more particles that settle at this stage, the fewer chemicals the plant has to add later. Chemicals can be added at this point to control unpleasant odors, taste, and the growth of algae. Coagulation, controlled here in the process control room, is a step in the process to help settle out small particles in the water. These particles are smaller than the human eye can see and have a slight negative charge on them. That charge causes them to repel one another and keeps them suspended, sort of floating in the water. Chemicals need to be added to help the particles to begin to coagulate or cling to each other. Chlorine, a disinfectant, is added to the settled water at two different stages of the process to kill any disease-causing organisms that may be present. Water is initially disinfected after it leaves the raw water basin. A second dose of chlorine is added as it enters the filters. The water department doses at two stages to make sure that the water is always safe. After the coagulin is added, the flocculation process begins. The flowing water is slowly mixed in the flocculator basins. The negatively charged small particles collide with the positively charged chemicals and form a heavier particle. The heavy particles are called flock, and they are heavy enough to settle to the bottom of the basin once the water leaves the flocculator basin. And the slow mixing process takes about an hour. After passing through the flocculators, the water flows into yet another set of basins where the previously formed flock can now begin to settle. The second set of sedimentation basins, also known as clarifiers, slow the water flow even more. The water is now slow enough for the heavy flock particles to drop down and collect in the bottom of the basin. The mixed particles add cloudiness to the water that can be measured. Chemists measure the cloudiness, or turbidity, as well as the chlorine content and adjust the final doses as needed. The clarified water now flows out for additional treatment. Particles that didn't settle naturally or after chemical addition are removed through filtration. Each of the city's 160 filters measures approximately 1,000 square feet and is made up of two layers of media, anthracite coal and sand, that are supported by four layers of gravel. As the water passes through the coal and sand layers, the particles get trapped and remain within the filter. The clear water passes through the bottom of the filter and flows on for final chemical treatment. The final treatment process involves adding additional chemicals to the water. These chemicals reduce tastes and odors and reduce the corrosion of pipes. Fluoride is added to prevent tooth decay.